Hi guys and welcome to Cookies Allotment Devon. Um, quick video, I'm making an asparagus bed today. So um, I did have one on my old plot and uh, obviously when I moved plots I um, left it there. And um, so the new plot holder can take advantage of that one. And um, I'm just going to show you now uh, how I um, interpret making an asparagus bed. I've got three different varieties and I'll discuss um, the different varieties in a minute. And um, just show you how I'm doing it. See you in a minute. So welcome to uh, Plymouth, Lockdown Plymouth today. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. And um, I'm getting my hour of exercise. So, as you can see, uh, the, the bed's been weeded. And um, we've, we've dug three troughs where the asparagus is gonna go. I'm just putting a bit of horticultural grit in the bottom there. And then um, I'll be building the, the mounds for the asparagus to sit on. So, um, this is... Um, the three beds now with the grit in the bottom and uh, what we're doing now is just filling up the trenches with Henry you're in the way we're just filling up the trenches with compost now and then they'll be made into the sort of mounds I'll right guys so we're gonna put the camera down we can show so we've got the three uh, ridges of the compost with the the grit in down the uh, trenches um, so it's quite a bit of time and effort um, and cost wise it's con probably looking at £30 for the uh, different asparaguses so I mean that's not too bad a pound each for each asparagus and um, it was about £10 for the grit and £10 for the compost so uh, you're looking at about £50 all in and we're going to get years and years and years of uh, asparagus off this so um, yeah I think we'll space the asparagus out now and then uh, I'll take you back uh, and show you then Okay guys, so this is the asparagus crown and if you look at it, it naturally sort of parts like a fringe. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay that in the trenches that we prepared and we will sit it over the trenches like that and sort of bed it in a little bit just to give the roots a sort of spread out like that. Okay, so that's how we're going to do the next stage. So uh, we'll lay them all out and then uh, we'll come back to you in a bit and show you what it looks like. I'm on the face. Hey. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Huh? Quite long roots, aren't they? Mm. Oh. I think you're supposed to have them even deeper so that they sit like that. Like. Oh, there. Yeah, I've got the space. Yeah, Five. Dad. It's just to give them a good chance to. Sort Dad, of what shall I do? Because they split as well, so you'll get like, like daffodils. Yeah. So they'll just keep split. Just put the shut the thing up. And just put it back on the table carefully out of the sun. That was a bit easy. <gasps> okay, guys. So um, that's the asparagus in the uh, trenches. And um, what we're going to do now is uh, backfill the trenches with the compost, a bit of grit on top, and then once Henry gets out of the way, Henry, uh, we're going to be using the sieve soil we've got there, and then we'll be sieving, uh, sieving a load more soil. It's amazing actually how much soil came out of three trenches, you just wouldn't believe it. But there you go, so uh, fingers crossed and uh, we'll get that done now. So, yeah, I'm not saying this is the uh, correct way at all. I'm just saying this is the way that I've looked at a few videos online and read bits of information. And I remember seeing a, a bit on Country Farm where they were growing in sort of Nor Norfolk and they were just looked like they were growing in sand. So I think with this grit now, and um, say hi, Henry. Uh, with this grit, I've just put a bit more on the roots just to hold them up while we... Uh, Backfill it with this compost and soil. So they look nice, <laughs> and uh, hopefully, maybe next year we might be able to eat a few of them. So, uh, yay! Who knows? So, there you go, guys. Um, sorry about the shadow on there now, but that's the shed. I can't really do a lot about that at the moment. Um, so, it's all covered over, really nice, gritty, fine soil. And I'm um, just going to put a couple of bags of compost on tomorrow just to bring the height up 
just a little bit more because it's a bit low and um, yeah hopefully we'll see some fronds popping up very soon I'd like to bring it up to the to the level of the wood really but um, I think I'll put compost down now and then when the soil dries out I'll sieve a bit more of it using the sieve there that covers a big area sorry for the shadow again Daddy, yeah did you do oh yeah sorry yeah I'll do that now so there you go, I'll do a, a video on the uh, polytunnel uh, tomorrow, I've got the material for that now so that's going to be done and I'll do a plot tour as well. So um, see you soon.